chaos surrounds us, doesn't it? Don't you feel like sometimes you're a magnet to chaos? But what if you could make it happy chaos? Well, you remember the actress Punky Brewster? Her real name is Soleil. She's out with a book called Happy Chaos, and she's joining us right now. Welcome. Hi, Khan. Soleil, I love your spirit. I'm curious, do you have more energy than your kids? I have uh, just about as much. They have a little bit more than me. I, I would love to say that, but like at one o'clock in the morning when they were up last night, I was like, Mom, he has to be up at like 4.30. I felt like I didn't have as much energy as them. <laughs> <laughs> well, first and foremost, congratulations on the book. Oh, thank you so much. I am so excited. Happy chaos. It's here. Now, Soleil, where I read your book, I was flying over to France. It was perfect because you have a great love story in there. Uh, which one? The love of my husband? <laughs> <laughs> or my crushes. <laughs> Your husband. No, it's so funny because there's all my like childhood crushes also. But my husband and I, yes, we have been together forever uh, since uh, since my 20th birthday. So it's very special. 15 years. Can well, you believe it? Well, it's great when you know he is the one. When you know, you know. And I, I really talk about how, you know, I, I could have met him 10 years later, but I met him when I did and I fell crazy madly in love with him and I, I talk about my mom, my poor mom who's never lived this down, who said we'd be lucky if we made it five years because she thought I was a little young and I'd probably say the same thing to my kids, but uh, but we just, we, we've we been together ever since, it's been amazing. You know, Soleil, the one thing I love is you show such a wonderful depiction of real life raising of a family. Oh, thank you. Well, I really wanted it to be truly authentic and, and really to embrace the messiness and the craziness in it because I think so often we can be so hard on ourselves and we need to give ourselves a little freedom to have some fun. You know, I, I, I found through social media, connecting with moms through Twitter and Facebook, and I'm so grateful to be Target's mommy ambassador and I get a share through there and connecting with these moms and sharing our stories and dads and families and just saying, hey, you know what? Some days there's going to be sprinkles on the floor. There's there's going to be markers on the wall, and we're not going to always be perfect, you know? We're going to make mistakes, and when we fall down, we get up the next day. So, Lai, given all your great stories as Punky Brewster to uh, raising a wonderful family, well, how did you decide what you were going to include in the book? It, it was so cathartic. I was up like every night after I put the kids to sleep to like three o'clock in the morning writing. Um, I've always kept a journal from the time I was five years old. So I had a lot of stories that were written. You know, it was so funny. I was looking through my diary from when I was like seven, eight years old. And there's pictures of the White House. And it's like, my brother and I just went to the Easter egg roll at the White House. And so I had all these fantastic stories from the time I was a little, little kid. And, uh, and, and really, another thing that I think my mom did so amazingly well is she really took photographs of everything. So when I look at the fact that I had such a big crush on Mark Wahlberg or, you know, or I got sent home because Charlie Sheen had come to the set and I, they thought I had a fever because I had such a big crush. And so they sent me home with a fever. I have photographs from those moments so as you're reading the book it was really important to me to also have the pictures because you look at the picture and you're like oh my how is this even real so like given all your well-deserved success and congratulations on this brand new book happy chaos but given this success what advice would you give to any of us living out our dreams Oh, to just to cherish the moment. You know, I really talk about pressing pause, and I remind myself of this all the time, that when things are crazy, when it's chaotic, when it's insanity, to really just take that moment. And I think especially for me in the last... I would say the last year and a half, because in the early years when they're toddlers or babies, I was like, oh no, everyone said it went so fast. And I was like, this doesn't feel so fast to me. And then I talk about that like a Mack truck hit me one day and they got so big and I couldn't slow it down. And I was like, wait, where's the time going? And I would find myself weeping that it was going so fast. And so really to cherish the moment. And I know it sounds cliche, but take those photographs, enjoy the moment, dance, have fun, get on their level, and enjoy because, you know, you, you got to embrace it, chaos and all. Soleil, great advice. Thank you so much for all these great stories. They're wonderful and helping us take chaos and making it happy. You are so sweet and you just made my day. Oh, I wanted to call her Punky Brewster the whole time. I always had to pause and go, Soleil, but what a beautiful name. What a beautiful woman. What a great book. Happy Chaos. Put those smiles on today, everyone. We'll be right back with more Get Connected.